Hi everyone, it's Four Corners, and today I want to talk about one of our newest members to the good guy team in Ninjago Dragons Rising, being Wildfire. Now me, I'm not sure how the community has perceived Wildfire. I haven't really been looking at other people's thoughts and opinions. I kind of want to keep my opinions fresh right now, so I'm not sure how everyone feels about Wildfire. But in my opinion, do I like her? Yes, and I have a couple reasons for that. One is she's not the funniest person in the world. There are some jokes that land and some that aren't supposed to land. But the whole brutal, impulsive character that she has is very good for this brand new team. Just think about Lloyd and Wildfire having those interactions or Kai and Wildfire having those really fun interactions. I think we need that brutal, impulsive person that's completely out of the usual character spectrum to be there to make the other characters more interesting. So while Wildfire by herself might not have the best personality ever, that character brings out a lot from the other characters. And I think that's really why she's placed here. But don't get me wrong, Wildfire by herself, she is a funny person. I like her, I like watching her fight with her heat powers. I don't think that's confirmed yet. However, I want to get to the point to talking about why Wildfire is a success and what could have went wrong with her. So we did see her flashback. She crashed into a place called the Wildness, I believe. That's what the head writer Doc Wyatt's been saying. And a dragon took care of her. And that dragon is now known to be Heatwave. Usually this is just a normal kid gets lost in the wild Tarzan kind of story. The, you know, the human doesn't act like a human because it's been growing up in the wild and the wild animals raised that kid. Yes, we haven't seen this in movies and TV shows that much, but it's been done before. I think the most interesting part that makes me invested in Wildfire is how she crashed in a very, very advanced looking pod and that robot. This just adds a whole new layer to things. We have the old, but we also have the new that we've never even seen before. It's so new that it's basically the future. This makes me want to know so much more about Wildfire's character. I want to know where she comes from. I'm pretty sure she's a princess. She has that golden moon on her head, and this is just such a unique thing. We got the dragon, we got the wild, we got a wild girl, and we also got the robot. Where have you seen this before? The Ninjago writers clearly have a plan for her and they probably spent a lot of time trying to come up with this way being a wildfire coming from a futuristic pod to just make her character a lot more interesting. It really means a lot that you watch this video and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye bye.